Tim Mahoney says an earlier closing time for bars may be coming to Fargo. Mahoney telling Valley News Live today that the city is considering it. This comes as Grand Forks begins a similar move tomorrow night, aiming to slow the recent surge of COVID. Today, the county set the record for new daily cases. Valley News Team's Devin Fry spoke with Grand Forks County health officials about why these numbers took such a sharp rise and where they go from here. I think we'll continue to see this as it trickles through. Today, North Dakota saw the largest increase in COVID-19 cases in a single county. Grand Forks and Ward counties both reaching over 300 new confirmed cases, but Grand Forks setting the record with 336. There are now 1,221 active COVID-19 cases in that county, a number which representatives from their Department of Health called unfortunate. We need to make those groups that we're getting in smaller, um, try to limit our household contacts to be in our contacts. Back when we were in March and April, everyone was doing a great job. Um, we need to kind of go back to those basics to help, help these numbers go down. When we asked what could be leading this massive influx of COVID-19 in Grand Forks County, we were told that it was a combination of many factors involved in community spread. These include people not being able to work from home and catching it at work, or people continuing to host large events despite recommendations by the CDC. I think people are fatigued. They're tired of it, but this is not the time to let our guards down. The city of Grand Forks now has a curfew put into place for bars and restaurants with liquor licenses, forcing them to close at 11 p.m. Tiffany says that measures like this will help, but it's going to take a lot more to stop this newest surge of COVID-19. We need the limited capacity. We need people to just maintain their household contacts as their close contacts. We These things work, and they work in other communities. Face coverings, they're working. We need... We need these things to help prevent the spread from happening further. Reporting from Fargo, Devin Fry, Valley News Live. Valley City is also following suit with closing bars earlier starting Monday. Their bars will have a daily 11 p.m. closing time for at least one month.